Shalom guys, we are going to embark on a biography project of somebody from the Chumash, as well as a Mefarish, a commentary, such as Rashi or other figures you'll see later. For this project, you will be doing some research, you will be presenting them as a Google slide page. I have links to all these sources you should really need down below, as well as some other sources you can find on your own if you'd like to. So that step one will be picking a figure from the class, you should have done that class already. Step two is you're going to write three questions you have about that figure. Now, you want to make sure your questions are ones that are likely to find the answer to them. So you might have to adjust them as you learn about them, but make sure to pick questions that you're likely to find those answers to. You're going to learn about your figure using sources both from Torah Shavich Tav, Tanakh, whatever part they're from, as well as Torah Shavah Peh, which should be linked there. You may use the Sefari biography page, the Chabad biography page, or any other searches you'd like to just make sort of cite whatever sources you do in fact use um, in the project. So you're going to present your figure as a Google slide presentation. Your slides should include a title and summary of that figure, very short, basically who they were, um, and name your presentation. Number two is summarize one important event, something that happened to them. You should include the Pasuk that it is discussing that event in, both in Hebrew and English. You can get that from Sfaria, Chabad.org, the Merkava, wherever you'd like to. The third slide will have the answers to the following questions. Five questions here. That was, who was your figure? Again, it's their name. Who are their parents? Where did they live? One to three places. If they moved around a lot, you could include more, but one to three are required. Who were their children? If we know the answer to that question. And how old were they when they passed away? How old did they live? The fourth slide is going to be your questions, as well as the answers to your questions. A fifth slide will be a picture representing your figure. And if you don't indicate earlier your sources, then you can indicate it on that sixth slide. I'm going to show you down here an example. So we'll go with some of them have a Safari page, some of them don't. You could think about that when you're picking your figure. I'm going to go with Avraham. So we'll look at the Avraham Safari biography page. It has a summary over here. So that can be something similar to what you base it on. You might want to do something different based on your own research. I'm sure it really gets them and what their role was. So over here, it's some psukim where he comes up, some important ones. It is both Hebrew and English. You have that there. Already on this side, you have some of the parents. Now, we don't have the mother's name over here. You have some relationships, some siblings, spouses, which is their, in this case, their wives, stories. Um, and some of them also mention their kids, their yeah. children over here, as well as some other things. So you have a lot of that information right over here. Wikipedia is going to show you um, some more information. When you use Wikipedia, you really only need to use that first section. Up to here, get into more scholarly things. And it's going to be a lot more irrelevant to our topic. We're looking for that just kind of information about them and whatnot. Um, so that's going to be only that first section. It will be called the Abraham, Abraham cycle. Um, use Wikipedia with caution. It is an open source. I'm okay with using this. I mean, quote it. Just know that it's going to contain a lot. It's going to contain other versions of stories that about them, right? Yishmael led to the Arabs and, and Muslim world. Um, so they're going to have a different kind of relationship with him than we do. We're looking for the relationship from the side of Yitzchak, from the Jewish side of that, for a figure like that. Other figures that are really more later in Tanakh that come from beyond Yaakov are not going to have that same um, issue. So you have that, and you also have this side. This side is going to be a little more to the point. It's going to have a little more um, clear information. And even some of this will have a nice summary, some really good stories that come up, places that we see them um, as well. Some descriptions of character and the like. We'll have a lot of those links and pages over there. Now, be careful. Some of them do come up to associated people, this has nothing to do with Abraham for our sake. It was someone that he went against, but that's not really what you're looking for, unless it's one of your questions or a significant event.
hint, hint, wink, wink, goofy, joke off from. That was the first part of the assignment. The second part of the assignment is going to be a mefarish. It is going to be a similar, but it's going to be a figure of um, the later, most likely Rishonim, some Achronim later on in history, that comment on the Chumash or Tanakh. So we're going to pick a mefarish that writes on the Chumash. You really should have done this already in class before you're seeing this assignment and instructions. You're going to learn about the figure. You can use the Safari biography page, the Chabad biography page. Again, I include those links because I find them to be clear. But you can use any other search that guides your research. Make sure to cite them if you do use them. If you use Wikipedia, you only need to use the first section. I'll show you what that means in a second. You're going to present the figure as a Google slide presentation. You could be the same slideshow as the previous part of the project. Just make sure to uh, have the right number of slides there. Your title and summary of the Mifarish, including their name. Now, be careful with the name. Like Rashi's name is not Rashi; it's Rabbi Shlomo Itzaki or Shlomo Ben So make sure you really have their name. Slide two is summarizing their style. They're writing the basic meaning, or they're writing a deeper level, whatever it may be. And you can answer the following three questions. You do not need your own questions here. If you'd like to, you can include them, but that's not required. When did they live, including both the date of birth and passing, if we know it? Where did they live? And what was one significant event or contribution that your Mefarish made? Please do not just say they wrote a book on the Chumash. That is very significant. It is not what we're looking for. We're looking for something more specific, how they really enabled a particular type of learning or interacted with their community. And then we'll the picture representing your figure. It's obviously not going to be a photograph for most of them, but it might be if it was later one or something that we kind of speculate what they look like. If you're done with either of these, you may finish the second project for extra credit for either one that is over here as well. I'm going to look at to show you the list of here. So we're just going to pick Rashi because he is easy to demonstrate. You go to the Safari page on Rashi. You do have lots of things that Rashi wrote about. A quick biography of him. There are two sites. The Jewish Encyclopedia is a little more to the point because a lot of that information. This is his, um, I don't know. Here to look. Rosh Chapel, it's his shul, and other things over here that he did. Wikipedia, again, has just that first section. Um, the first section is really his life, his biography. Over here is a lot more about him and things that other people wrote about him and other people wrote commentaries to his commentary. Again, that's, those latter sections are going to get much more complicated and deep. They're great. That is not necessarily necessary right now. Um, and then you turn that in. And that will be your project. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with, what you guys present. And hope you enjoy the learning about who we're learning about. So, all right. Vaslacha.